raises serious questions of integrity in government when you can do something like this. They canceled the meeting not because they want to label it as an overflow crowd. They canceled the meeting because it was not going to be one-sided. This was going to be an opportunity for people to ask questions. Questions that the city administration does not have answers for. Who's going to pay for this scheme? Who is going to build it? How long is it going to take? And what is the impact on our communities? When they can answer those questions, then they have a viable opportunity to make a presentation to our community. Councilman Reckia, State Senator Savino, and I stand united. If this bill for Parkland sees the light of day in Albany, then, if, then the mayor is going to have a real fight on his hands trying to get it through the state senate. It's not going to happen. This is a backdoor approach to eminent domain. We are not going to allow Coney Island and Brighton Beach to be given away, given away without community input. Yes. 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 Thank you, Carl. Why not let them? What's your experience? What's the city's experience? 
Bucks building is becoming big green and Buckley. Yeah, they, we don't want outside. We don't want Disney. We don't want Six Flags over Coney Island. We don't want Universal Coney Island. We don't want Coney I don't want it. Maybe you want it. I know. I don't know. I know. The best right. one to do the job. That's what we want. No. We want Coney Island to stay family-owned amusements. No. That's why it's always best. And let me take a bet. What? No. We don't want Six Flags over Coney Island. $71 Get up everyone to catch it if we can start moving out. Alright, the hospital had not to get back to business and serving people. Back to normal.